radio, guys. It's coming, hitting my uh, 2019 room tour. Sorry if the audio is a bit crap. My mic's died, so it is what it is. But over here, we just got my outdoor cupboard with my clothes hanging up. I just got my shoe rack over here, my bin, and my washing. Um, nothing really too special over here. Now on my door, I have hanging up just a couple of jumpers, bags, dusters. Got my mirror shelf here with my keys. Now this thing's pretty cool. This come from a local Bali artist. So I really like that. And we just got my mirror here. We've got charging station on the first shelf, just bits and pieces on the second, and alcohol and stuff on the third, really. Now looking at this first shelf, we have, as you can see, we've got my smartwatch, power bank, camera. Um, that's a tick smartwatch. We have here my DSLR charger, battery, We've got a head torch over here, camera skinned PS4, this uh, power board with USB inputs and stickers and my alarm clock. Now on the second shelf we've just got some oils and PS4 games and there's not a lot up here so we won't spend too much time. Here we've got my 55 inch 4K TV, down below is my soundbar and that's just a stack of hats I have there, my motorbike helmet, vinyl plotter. Now I've got my little watch collection over here, we'll get a better look at that. There we are, pause it if you want to have a detailed look at the watches. Going straight back to it, I found this on eBay for $9 I think. It's pretty cheap, I thought it was cool. This unit just holds junk really and just work stuff and nothing too important to it. Just keeps it out of the way and nice and organised. Now moving on. Up here I got my cologne and I have some um, women's samples here. I actually own a um, athlete apparel. It's an active wear company. I've got some women's samples over here. I actually got a men's sample over on the bed here. And uh, yeah, shameless plug. Got moving right along, just deodorant down on this chest drawer thing, salt lamp, dog bed, more vinyl, that's the second business I have, and some woofer for that soundbar. So yeah. And then we just got the whiteboard here, which is super handy. Some personal stuff on those two shelves, and above those shelves was my security camera. And here we got some LED lights under the bed. Righto, so we just got a bit of cables here. Just uh, I keep them up here so they're nice and neat, and I know exactly where they're going and where they are if I ever need them. Uh, I've got a little mushroom clock here from Mario. I made that. So get a close up. There you go. Got a nice geometric line above my bed. Now we've got a salt lamp and remotes and books and that's a diffuser, a bit of chocolates and that's a 4 gig Seagate external hard drive for my MacBook uh, just to keep everything backed up. We've just got bits and bobs, uh, home network under there and wireless keyboard and printer underneath and a couple of boxes, nothing too big. Now here we've got the setup, here we've got the desk, this is probably why you guys came so we'll jump straight into it here, we've got my 13 inch Retina uh, MacBook Pro, it's uh, my daily driver, just got the charger sitting up here in case I even need to quickly charge it. It's uh, my daily driver for work. It's more than enough, it's just got uh, like a wood skinned on top. BenQ monitor, this is a one minute response time, um, it's a gaming monitor. Um, I don't really game on it, I actually game on the widescreen to the left. And you can just switch the modes by this nice and quick. So I usually plug the MacBook in and go back and forth, back and forth, nice and efficiently. We just got a Logitech speakers here. I think the Z701s. And then I've got my touch lamp over here, but unfortunately that globe died, so perfect timing. Here we have the AG uh, mechanical gaming keyboard, absolute beast, paired up with my Thermaltake Theon gaming mouse, probably one of my favorite gaming mouses I've used in a while. It's about four years old. So yeah, that's an absolute killer piece of kit. It's got the Google Home Mini here, a um, couple of hot sources, um, LED remote, and a remote for the fan, which is perfect when you're gaming in a hot Australian summer. So here we have LG 29 inch widescreen. Um, there's a speakers underneath, and here's the beast pairing these two mo monitors. Just got the iPhone X here. Nice case and diary, and the MacBook and diary go hand in hand for the work journey. A couple of USBs, drink bottle, USB hub, and this is the Rig 800HS gaming headset, wireless, and it is an absolute beast of it. Couldn't recommend it more. And that's just sitting on top of uh, 
that's its wireless little modem thing there, receiver, and just a wireless charging pad um, headset, so perfect for the iPhone X, bits and bobs, LAM, another phone case. And here we have my Samsung tablet. This is, you know, just good for browsing. Um, probably wouldn't do much more on it. Looking to upgrade in the, to an iPad Pro later in the year, so, but this does the job for now, so can't complain about it. Just a magnetic case on top. And radio. So here we have the PC, the beast. Now in inside, we're running i7 77K CPU, running at 5 gigahertz, water cooled. We just got 16 gig of uh, DDR4, Windows 10 running at 64 bit, and I believe the GPU is a uh, D skin 1080. Um, yeah, don't you can go in that more in detail. Um, we got the BF250F motherboard Strix, so all the LEDs can talk to each other and synchronize with each other. We got four USB ports up here, audio mic, and we got the LED rockers which change the color and change uh, whether it pulses, breathes, uh, flashes, change the movement of the LED. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we can go more into detail in a separate video on the PC if you like, just let me know in the comments. Um, and the beast powers these two monitors with no ease, doesn't drop any frames, and doesn't get hot at all. And I actually run a splitter so I can power from the MacBook and PC straight to the TV so I can put a movie on and chill in bed and uh, use a wireless keyboard and mouse and still be on the computer, which is great. It's just a... Yeah, so this is pretty much the desk setup. Um, if you want more details about the PC, shoot questions below. I might, if there's enough interest, do a separate video and really tear it apart. I'm putting some upgrades later in the year on it, so that should be good. Um, and that's pretty much it for uh, this room tour, guys. So, uh, yeah, so till next time, guys, have a good one.